All right, I'm going to be tapping a tree today. It's a beautiful day outside, perfect for tree tapping. You want it to be about, uh, you know, in the 40s during the day, preferably, and freezing at night. So that's what we have right now. Um, so I have my equipment here. I have a drill. Um, it's got a cord on it. Cordless drill is better, but I don't have one. So it's that and an extension cord. Um, and then I have these spiles, which is what you actually put in the hole in the tree. Um, you can get them online or get them at like specialty shops. We got these at the Big Plant Urban Farm Supply Store in St. Paul. Um, and then you need a drill bit. This one is 7 16ths of an inch. Um, it's usually going to be about this size. Some of them might be a little smaller or bigger, depending on the size of your spiles. But the instructions with the spiles should tell you what size you need. And then a little hammer. And then this is what I'm using to collect the sap. Um, so I have to put a little hole in here so that the spile can go in and it can hang on there. So I want the hole to be about the size of the spile. I don't want it too big because otherwise it's going to fall off. <laughs> so just carefully here with this exacto blade. Cut a hole. All right, so I'm just gonna hang on the tree like that. There's the cat. I don't know if you can see her. Marley. All right, let's go do it. All right, I'm in front of this silver maple here. About to tap it. Um, preferably sugar maples are the trees that you want because they have a higher sugar content in their sap, but silver maples will work too. Um, and since it's warm out, everything's melting, we should hopefully be getting some sap out right away. Okay, so I'm going to use this drill bit here to drill about two inches into the tree. Uh, you wanna make sure not to go too deep. Um, and it can be hard to tell how deep you're in there, so I just put a little mark on the drill bit, so I'll see. Um, and as you can see, it has this little anchor point that helps keep it from moving all over the place on the bark because uh, you want the hole to be as precise as possible. Uh, you don't want a lot of wiggle room, otherwise the sap could leak out. And when you're tapping trees, there's a, according to folklore, you want to tap on the south side. I don't know how like scientifically accurate that is, but you want to tap on the south side because that's where the sun's going to be. Um, another thing is you want to go either above like big roots or below big branches um, because that's where most of the sap is going to be flowing. And another thing is you want to make sure the tree is healthy. Um, when you're tapping a tree, it's just, you know, a tiny hole that you're putting in it, so it should be fine. But if the tree is stressed out, you know, losing limbs, losing leaves, branches, whatever, um, you might not want to tap it, especially in the city where, you know, it gets stressed out from pollution and road salts and that kind of thing. Oh yeah, and the tree has to be at least 12 inches in diameter for you to tap it. Um, so don't try putting a small tree, because it actually hurt it. All right, so what you want to do is have the drill about three, four, five feet off the ground. Well, probably not five feet, three or four feet. <laughs> um, and make sure you're drilling at a slight upward angle. Uh, that will help the sap flow out. You don't want to do anything too dramatic, like a big, upward angle, but just really slightly. Um, so, let's see, there's a big root here, so I guess I'll go like here. And... So you see all these shavings flying off? You want to try to get those out. You don't want them in the sap hole, <laughs> clogging it up. Just a little more. All right, looks good. And then we can put the tap in. Got this little handy dandy pink hammer. And here's the tap. Uh, you just wanna really gently tap it in there.
If you do it too hard, it can crack the hole and you'll get sap leaking all over the place. And the idea is that it should fit snugly. Um, obviously, you don't want it falling out. <laughs> okay. Seems good. There's no sap coming out yet. Might have to wait on that. And then you just put this on. As the sap drips out, it'll collect. Uh, I was hoping for something more exciting, like actual sap coming out, but maybe later in the day I can come back and film it and we'll see something. <laughs>